Welcome to our weekly online service. It's so wonderful to have you joining us. We offer this service to provide a way to hold space for God's divine presence in your life. I invite you to open your hearts, your hands, and your mind on this day. Today we commemorate uh, Alfred the Great. He was king of the West Saxons and he lived in the ninth century. In the wilderness, water brings life. Seek us out, O God, and take us to the water. In the word of God, the good news gives light. Seek us out, O God, and fill us with understanding. Here is the water of life, the word that feeds and the food of eternity. Come and praise creation that provides abundance. Amen. Let us pray. O sovereign Lord, you brought your servant Alfred to a troubled throne that he might establish peace in a ravaged land and revive learning and the arts among the people. Awake in us also a keen desire to increase our understanding while we are in this world, and an eager longing to reach that endless life where all will be made clear. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 21, verses 1 to 7. The king rejoices in your strength, O Lord, how greatly he exalts in your victory. You have given him his heart's desire. You have not denied him the request of his lips. For you meet him with blessings of prosperity and set a crown of fine gold upon his head. He asked you for life, and you gave it to him. Length of days forever and ever. His honor is great because of your victory. Splendor and majesty have you bestowed upon him, for you will give him everlasting felicity and will make him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king puts his trust in the Lord because of the loving kindness of the Most High. He will not fall. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name shall be great among the nations, and in every place incense shall be offered to my name and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Today, the church remembers Alfred the Great, king of the West Saxons. His date of death was 899. Alfred is considered a great king who was an example of piety and learning. He was wise and courageous and used his temporal power for the spiritual, intellectual, and economic advancement of the people. In his youth, Alfred knew the terror of mortal illness of invasion and of the death of loved ones. In the savage warfare of his day, he was brave, strong, and cunning. He was not a man unacquainted with grief and hardship or unfamiliar with the harsh realities of life. From the monks of Wessex and from his teachers in Rome, he learned a kinder and gentler way of life than most of his people had even been exposed to although they were at least nominally Christian. When in his maturity, he became the most powerful of the Anglo-Saxon kings, he administered justice with insight and fairness, laying foundation for, the much, for much of the best in English law. He founded a palace school, which was unequaled in Northern Europe. He is well remembered in stone at his capital in Winchester, and well commemorated in modern leaders who truly seek the moral, physical, and intellectual betterment of their people. Alfred the Great. We affirm our faith as we say, 
We believe in God above us, creator of all things, sustainer of all life. We believe in Christ beside us, companion and friend, redeemer of all the broken pieces of our universe. We believe in spirit deep within us, advocate and guide who lives with us eternally. We believe in God's resurrection created world where all things are fixed and all creation fits together in vibrant harmonies. We believe in God above, beside, within, God yesterday, today, and forever, the three in one, the one in three. Amen. We pray on this day for healing and forgiveness from squandering resources, abusing our companion species, and polluting the habitat we all share. Heal us from the folly of imagining ourselves free from the fate of your whole creation. Heal us for repentance and the determination to begin our stewardship anew. Heal us. O oh, merciful creator, your hand is open wide. Bring us into the life you desire for us of forgiveness and reconciliation. You are forgiven on this day so that you may forgive others. Continue your journey of faith knowing that you are surrounded by love. The prayers of the people. Lord, turn our praises into hands that clothe the naked, arms that comfort the afflicted, tables that host the stranger, and shoulders that support the weary, so that your name may be praised by those who live and those who die. We give you thanks and praise, O God of creation, for the grandeur of all that you have made, saying, we thank you, God. We give you thanks and praise, O God of love, for the many blessings you have given us, saying, we thank you, God. We thank you, O God, of second chances for the forgiveness you bestow on us during our darkest times, saying, We thank you, God. We thank you, O God, of companionship for the relationships and partnerships you have blessed us with, saying, We thank you, God. We pray for the people, the land, water, air, flora, and fauna, and all the creatures of the earth, especially today, we lift up the nation of Syria. Gracious God, make us always thankful for your loving providence and grant that we, remembering the account that we must one day give, may be faithful stewards of your good gifts through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. Amen. Join me as we pray together eternal spirit, life giver, pain bearer, love maker, source of all that is and that shall be, father and mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echo through the universe, the way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world, your heavenly will be done by all created beings, your kingdom of peace and freedom Sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread that we need for today, feed us. For the hurt that we inflict on one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. A seasonal prayer for fall, for fall from the New Zealand prayer book. Blessed are you, God of all creation, for you give us abundantly 30, 60, and 100 fold. We praise you for harvest and for the assurance of food and drink for another year. Strengthen us as we enjoy what we are given to help the hungry and to help the poor. Amen. Go from this service with joy, securely abiding as branches of the true vine. Go and tell the story of faith that is given to you by the one 
who never lets you go. Seek out those who abound with sacred questions and be ready to answer a mystery with love. The wisdom, love, and grace of God strengthen each one of you to be God's hands and heart in this world of ours and the blessing of God Almighty, our creator, redeemer, and sustainer, be with you on this day and remain with you always. Alleluia, alleluia, go in peace, tend to your spirit and all those you encounter on this day. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks for joining us online. Have a blessed day.